Hello, this is Lauri Aurunen from Created Informed. Today I will be demonstrating an Alexa skill that we developed and it's called the Mathematical Maze. It's a game skill aimed more towards the younger audiences and it combine, combines an animal or fable theme with some mathematical puzzles for hopefully a fun adventure for all ages. You stand next to the mathematical maze. Enter the maze, hear instructions, or run away. Enter. Upon entering the maze you come across a great hall with three doors leading further into the maze. Large, medium, and small. The small door is just an open doorway big enough for a child to crawl through. An inviting smell of freshly cut grass emanates from the other side and you can see a butterfly sitting on the door frame. The medium door is wooden and plain looking. You could push it open fairly easily if you wanted to. The large door is a hulking mass of metal. It is partly covered in darkness and looking at it makes you uneasy. You are unsure if you are strong enough to open it. Which door do you choose? Small, medium or large? This is where you choose your difficulty level for the session by choosing the corresponding door. The descriptions on the doors have been chosen so that smaller children would be more naturally geared or they would more naturally choose the uh, smallest door whereas adults or uh, larger children would probably more likely choose the larger doors. Now there's nothing wrong in choosing the uh, any, any of the other doors uh, but the, uh, the puzzles behind the large door might be too tricky for younger audiences. Small. As you pass through the small door, you enter a small room with a table with three strange candles on top. A sign above the table says, Magical Candles for Protection. You decide to pick the candles up, and as soon as your hand touches them, they lit up. You make your way to the next room. Your three magical candles shine brightly. As soon as you enter the room a confident chicken rushes towards you. It is holding four rectangular pieces of wood and a splendid chick is following it. The chicken seems to want to make a box for the chick. How many more pieces of wood does it need? Two. How many more pieces of wood does it need? Two. Two. The splendid chick motions towards you blissfully. It is very proud and so are you. You wave at them as you exit the room. You pass through an old door. Your three magical candles shine brightly. There is a small maze on the floor of this room. A bouncy frog is laying out thread in order not to get lost in the maze. First he spreads the thread along three tiles going straight, then a further two tiles going right and finally five tiles going straight again. How far has the bouncy frog traveled? So the game continues as long as you have some magical candles left. Uh, you start with three, and every time you fail to answer correctly, you lose one of the candles. And, and conversely, if you do keep get, getting the right answers, then the game keeps generating new puzzles for you until you reach the, uh, the target amount of rooms, and then, then you win the game. Uh, otherwise, you could get kicked out of the maze and can try again. Hopefully, you enjoyed the demonstration of this skill, the mathematical maze. The skill is now available from the uh, Alexa store, and you can enable it on your device by going to the store and, and choosing the skill from there. Thank you very much for listening, and I will see you next time.